When locking out a dispenser, you must first trip the shear or fire valve. This valve is an emergency shutoff valve installed at the inlet of remote control type dispensing units. After tripping the shear valve, test to make sure the dispenser cannot dispense product. Only by tripping the shear valve while the dispenser is still under pressure of the submersible pump can you test that your shear valve works. During the lockout procedure, the shear valve was shut by pushing down on the hub sub assembly link. Now to open the valve manual, the hub sub assembly link must be reset so the valve is cocked open. This is similar to setting the spring on a mouse trap. First, rotate the hub sub assembly to the left counterclockwise. Raise the hub sub assembly link and engage it with a pin in the hub sub assembly. Because the valve is under pressure from the submersible pump, it can be hard to rotate the hub subassembly by hand. In this case, use a wrench of the appropriate size to rotate the hub subassembly counterclockwise.